This is the Carliner Pointex fast, easy, and accurate diagnostic measuring tool. It will save you time and money by allowing you to quickly determine the extent of damage to the vehicle. Is there structural damage, or is the damage only cosmetic? How severe is it? By doing diagnostic measuring, you can more effectively plan and execute the repair. The last thing you want is to begin what you thought was a cosmetic repair, only to find out halfway through that the damage is actually structural. By correctly determining the extent and type of damage before you begin the repair, you will save time and money. The Pointex Diagnostic Measuring Tool is made of a lightweight carbon fiber and can measure both length and height. Length is measured via a laser beam that shoots through the tube, and height is measured with the electronic inclinometer. With the Pointex comes a new Vision 2 Pointex software. This new software is extremely easy to follow and guides you step by step through the measuring process. Start the software. The software interface is made up of four easy to follow processes. Each of these processes has a number of sub-steps that need to be completed. We will begin with the first process, work order. Start by creating a new work order or by opening an existing one. In this instance, we will create a new work order. Click on the new work order icon. Fill in the work order's information, name, technician's initials, and other important information. Also important to note is that all information and data entered or measured is automatically saved. Also, we may not proceed to the next step until all information for the previous step is completed. If the next button is gray, it is necessary to complete one or several sub-steps before going forward. The help screen will guide us through all required steps and shows which steps need to be completed before moving forward. When all required steps are completed, the Next button turns yellow. Click Next to select Make. Here we see a complete list of vehicle brands in our index list. We'll select the brand that matches the vehicle we will measure. In this case, a Suzuki. Click Next to select Subgroup. Here we will specify vehicle type. In this case, it is a car, so we select Cars. Click Next to select Data Sheet. You may shorten the list of cars presented by filtering the search options using the roll down menus. Here we choose 2006. Now we select the matching car model by checking the model and body code to ensure we use the correct vehicle data sheet. In this case, we wish to perform a diagnosis on a 2006 Suzuki SX4. Click Next to add additional information. Here you can insert basic information into the work order, such as VIN number, miles, license number, and notes. Click Next to advance to the second process, Preparation. The first sub-step is Vehicle Setup. Select whether you're measuring the car on wheels or on a support. Anytime the vehicle is not on wheels, it is considered to be on support. Click Next to come to Engine Setup. Select Engine In if the engine is still in the car, otherwise choose Engine Out. Click Next for clamping information. This step presents the necessary clamping information for use with car liner alignment benches. Here, this is not needed, so we move on to the next process. Click Next to move to the third process, Measuring. Before we can measure the vehicle, we must center it so that the software understands where the car is situated. Start the Pointex Diagnostic Measuring Tool. When the two flashing red arrows on the screen disappear, the point X is connected to the computer. The first step in centering is select reference point. We must first choose two reference points. These should be a symmetrical point pair 
with identical points on the left and right side of the vehicle. Try to use points located in the center of the car's body. It is important that they are located in an undamaged area. Also, when choosing the reference points, make sure you can reach the damaged area that you wish to measure later. Here is our chosen reference point L12, and here is the matching point R12 on the opposite side of the vehicle. Click Next to set the centering point. Here we choose point L18. We may choose a point on either the left or the right side of the vehicle. Click Next to carry out the centering. We now have two distances selected for measurement. The first distance measures length and the second distance measures width. The black and yellow rings on the diagram correspond with the black and yellow information panels to the left of the screen. These panels tell us which tubes and adapters to use for this particular measurement. Important to note is that the magnetic attachment may be substituted for the 25 or 35 adapters when used with the 100 tube. Using the magnetic attachment simplifies the measuring process by allowing for one hand use. We will use the magnetic attachment as we move forward. If for some reason we would prefer to use a different tube length, we can change it as long as we specify in the software which tube length we wish to use. We do this by using the drop down menu regarding the tube length. Here we will use a 100 tube together with the magnetic attachment. Now we will begin centering. Firstly, we will measure from the black point to the yellow point. Secondly, we will measure from the black point on the left side of the vehicle to the black point on the right side of the vehicle. The pictures in the software will tell you where the measuring points are located. Insert the point X in the designated measuring points and press the yellow bullseye button to measure. That triumphant sound effect is verification that the computer has received the measuring values. The software now automatically switches to the second measurement, which is from the left side of the vehicle to the right. Press the bullseye button and wait for the verification signal. Now the centering is completed and we can view the results in the software. Now that centering is complete and OK, we can move on to measuring the damaged area. Click Next to proceed to Select Measuring Point. First, we will select our measuring points. Examine the vehicle to determine which area needs to be measured and which points are appropriate for this. For the first measurement, we must use the same reference point as when we centered the car. So our reference point L12 for the first measurement is already selected and shown on the screen. Now we will select our measuring point L3 and then click Next. Now the five required measuring points are presented on the screen. These measurements are always in the same order. One, length on the left side. Two, the diagonal from the left to the right side. Three, the diagonal from the right side to the left side. Four, length on the right side. And five, cross measurement between the two measuring points. Now it's time to select tubes and adapters. Again, the software will tell us from which points we shall measure and what tube links and adapters we should use. We will now measure the five distances. We proceed as in centering by placing the point X into the shown measuring point and pressing the bullseye button. We do this for each of the five distances to be measured. Remember to hold the point X stable and vertical. Also, hold the point X by either end or by only one end when using the magnetic attachment. Do not hold the point X in the center unless there is an adapter or the magnetic attachment attached at that point.
analyze the results as compared with the datasheet. Here we can see significant differences in the values, which indicates structural damage to the vehicle. If the results show that the vehicle is structurally damaged, we need to find out where the damage stops. To do this, we make a second measurement. Click Next to select reference point for the second measurement. We still use the same reference point as before, point L12. We click the point to select it. Click Next to select a measuring point for the second measurement and select a new measuring point near where you think the damage ends. In this case, point L5. Click Next to view the five required measurements. Again, the software tells us which points to use for measuring along with which tubes and adapters we should use. Start measuring as previously shown. When we're finished, we can view and analyze the results. If the new results show no damage, then we know that the damage lies between the first and second measurement areas. Click the Documentation tab to move on to the last process, Documentation. Here we are able to print or save the data from all our measurements. We are able to take six measurements for each work order. Mark the measurement data you wish to print or save. In this case, we have taken two measurements. Choose Print if you wish to print out your results. Choose Save and the software will save your results to your hard drive as JPEG images. These can now be printed or sent via email. PointX from Carliner, the fast, accurate diagnostic measuring tool.